and just real cute you know like like that hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new here welcome my name is sierra so one of my subscribers amanda hey girl all the way from the u kizzle she asks that i give my opinions slash likes and dislikes on the baddie aesthetic and i thought that was a really good question really good video idea so here i am this is literally my fourth time doing this video y'all it's not that i didn't want to put out content because i know some of y'all like we ain't seen sierra in about three days where she at though like i have wanted to be here y'all i have been going back and forth with myself on this video um when amanda first posed the idea i was just like oh that's a really good idea and also should be like really easy for me to do because i'm like so removed from the baddie aesthetic and it's going to be like outside looking in so i could definitely just give what i like and don't like but then i had to really just think about the question also i don't want to offend anyone because i know some people may partake in the baddie aesthetic although i don't think that people that do partake in the baddie aesthetic probably don't watch me on youtube anyway but but who knows maybe i can like convince one of the baddies to come over to the wild side also, Amanda was saying in her question how some of the looks may be sexualized, and I definitely feel like that's a thing now that I really, really think about it. At first, I was just like, that's not really a thing. Like, women should be able to wear whatever they want to wear, wear their boobs out, wear their ass out. But then I had to really think about it and think about the women who are really, like, big influencers and are promoting this like really baddie lifestyle baddie aesthetic and those women aren't necessarily like me and like have the same views that i have when it comes to women and you can like clearly see it on their like instagram feeds and if you guys don't know what the instagram baddie look is to me what comes to mind when i think about it anyway is like really like tight clothes revealing clothes uh <laughs> always glammed up hair always done um probably is a fashion of a brand ambassador and just real cute you know like like that so i went to some of like the top instagram baddie accounts which is like the real kyle sister the jada waiter i think her name is and Immediately, all you see is just like them promoting like Fashion Nova and G Suwu and Shane Justin. I mean, the girls is getting paid, okay? Besides that, I see them wearing like a lot of revealing clothes and all of them seem to have this same like body. And I started to ask myself like, why do women feel the need to like have this really uh, carved out body and really just like unrealistic body? And I think that I want to say that it stems from men and what men deem beautiful. And we all know what like some dirtbag, scumbag men like really look for in women. And it's just like big boobs and like big butt. And also sometimes these scumbags are the ones with money. So I feel like women want to, I guess, appeal to that. Also because some women are just insecure and want to just bigger boobs which i feel like that's okay if it makes you feel comfortable i feel like you should definitely enhance what you want to enhance um and you shouldn't care about what other people think honestly i guess one thing i really hate about the baddie aesthetic is just that it just is not realistic i feel like i've said that word a thousand times already but again it's just not real i feel like all of them promote like this really perfect way of like looking and always like uh, what do you call it, editing their videos to the point where they look almost cartoonish. Like, are you even real? Is this like a, re a 3D type person? And it's crazy because I have been following some Instagram baddies who I'm like, oh, you know, they are real, but they, they still love this like glam life, or at least they have like their real body, but it's like, no. And then they pop up with like fake boobs and fake butts. And it's like, damn, they was just saving up for the whole shebang. And as far as what I like about the baddies aesthetic, I don't know. I don't think I really like anything because again, it just promote unrealistic standards and make women feel like bad about themselves and make some people feel depressed because they can't live up to it. And I definitely feel like it's social media that plays a part in us believing that we have to change ourselves to be more appeasing, to be more sexy. You have to have bigger boobs. Like, no, you were born beautiful already. Be confident 
and love yourself every day work on loving yourself that's what i really hope that i do on my channel is just really inspire you guys to be yourselves and be confident in the skin that you were born in and i do understand that that takes work i definitely had to work to get there y'all when i was young i definitely wanted like a big butt and big boobs and it took some time it took a lot of time all through high school i was insecure about myself all through shit beginning of my 20s i was insecure about myself about the way i looked and my shoulders i'm still in about my shoulders whatever whatever but again that's that's something that i have to work on and that's something that i'm getting up every day and like yo we're gonna wear tops that you don't usually wear just so you can get used to and start living in these shoulders okay period and i feel like everyone should do that really challenge yourself to love yourself shit every day anything that you don't like about yourself like i know it's cliche but i love my nose i love my eyes <laughs> it works it definitely works i feel like i it doesn't even really appeal to me i went on like these websites the shane justins the jisoo's literally they had jada Wada and like the real cow sister is like their two main models and obviously they chose them for a reason because they feel like women want to look like them you know they are the it girls right now and shit they're not lying i wish it wasn't true i wish it was a more natural beauty standard up at on those pedestals but yeah on shane justin website y'all and jisoo website definitely none of the clothes really appealed to me because i didn't see anyone that looked like me in the clothes so i'm just like yeah no this say an extra small but i don't have that much booty and i definitely don't have that much boobs so where's the other fab where's the fabric gonna cling to because i don't look like that i feel like they definitely need some slim models some slim thick models some some triple x models to really show some diversity and you know in their brand because right now it's not doing it for your girl and honestly it wouldn't do it for me regardless y'all because again it's fast fashion that shit dribble up after three wears so it's really a waste of money at the end of the day um not saying that i'm like super above it because i'm not sometimes i do buy you know certain things here and there from zara especially if i really really need something that i can't afford the real thing which i don't shop at zara often at all maybe buy something from there once a year like i just bought like a little tank top because i needed tank tops and i can't afford the real tank top that i want it's like 560 and i ain't got that 64 little white tank top but uh when your girl get there you best believe i'm gonna be in everything quality but y'all already know literally 90 percent of my wardrobe is either designer i got on sale or thrifted so for the most part your girl does buy sustainable also, I would love to have this be an open discussion. So please, please, please leave your comments down below. I would love some back and forth with you guys. What do you think about the Instagram baddie aesthetic and the standards that they say people should live up to and to be beautiful? Um, would definitely, definitely love that. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.